What's up my brothers and my sisters from another mister. So today we're going to do a comic book review of Sam and Twitch issue number four where we get to know more about the Udaku and this is the ultimate test to Sam and Twitch in clearing their good name. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. We begin this issue exactly where we left off in the previous issue. While Twitch goes into the darkness for a glimpse of this man in the Udaku or the white fedora hat in the trench coat. I'm just going to assume he's part of the Udaku because he has to be. Twitch is unaware that this guy, his intended prey, is right behind him and that's where we start off with this issue. The guy grabs him. Twitch turns around and shoots aimlessly at the white fedora hat and the trench coat. Sam, outside of Izzy's pawn shop where they were at, hears a shooting and he knows it's Twitch. Twitch. He runs to his rescue. Fedora hat backhands Twitch. He falls back, but he has to get up. And this guy looks like I got to end this now. And Sam runs to save his partner's life. Before the guy in the white fedora hat picks up Twitch and he just shoots around. And he just turns around and shoots aimlessly with no glasses on aimlessly. And he's got to hit something because eventually when you shoot enough times, you have to hit your target. And that he does. Now, after hitting the white fedora hat and the trench coat, he emits gas and he dissipates and disappears. And Twitch, can all he can do is just look down at the hat and the trench coat and grab the evidence. But meanwhile, up above, three more white fedora hats and trench coats come about behind Sam. And Sam points his gun at nobody move. Nobody freaking move, you creepy mofos. He gets distracted by the police, turns around, then turns back, and they're gone. Just like that, they're gone. Pretty eerie, right? So in the sewers, he hears Twitch, even though he doesn't know it's Twitch, crawling out, coming out, just hears a little faint sound. And you know what? It's one of those things, shoot first, ask questions later. But when he shoots, ow, Sam, it's me. Oh my God, says Sam. Holy shit, Twitch, I didn't know it was you. I'm so sorry. What the hell were you doing down there? It sounded like saving Private Ryan. I didn't mean to shoot you, man. I'm so sorry. And Twitch is like, well, let's put it this way. You know yesterday when I accidentally dropped a dime on you to IA and got us all in trouble? Yeah, says Sam. Well, now we're even. So Sam asks, what the hell is up with those three fedora hats and trench coats up top? And Twitch is like, there were three more? Yeah, but they ran and disappeared. And Twitch is surprised. Three more? Uh, well, I don't know about three more up top, but I had this one popped down there. And Twitch is like, look, it's okay. You just grazed me. It's just a cut. I'm going to be all right. And then they have this good buddy cop moment that shows their relationship. And Sam's like, thank God I didn't pop you because I couldn't afford feeding all your kids like that. And Twitch is like, hey, either can I, you know? So Sam calls it and officer's been shot, officer down. So when the other cops get there and they investigate the crime scene in the pawn shop and Twitch gets medical attention, Sam gets questioned by his peers, but not in the way that's like a good faith kind of question. It's almost like they're pinning him down. So the Kai is like, so you're telling me you and Twitchy walked into this pawn shop and asked this mook a question and he just blew his brains up instead of answering the damn question? Yep, says Sam, just like that. And the guy gets all suspicious, like, what'd you ask him? A question. A question, says the guy, yeah. Sam was like, a question about the investigation, what more do you want? So the guy tells Sam, well, how did he blow his own brains out without a gun? And Sam's like, wait a minute, there's bullshit. There was a plenty of guns in that scene, and there was plenty of guns in that shop. And the guy's like, really? And Sam's like, oh, you son of a bitch. You trying to pin this on me? And the guy's like, well, there's just a bunch of dead people and dead cops everywhere you go, Sam. And all these cops look at Sam like, you better get the hell up out of here. So Twitch asks the medical doctor, where's Dr. McCory? And the next day tell her, well, she's suspended. And Twitch is like, what for? They didn't say. She was just packing up when I came. And, and Twitch is like, I am not here for this. Something's up. We're done here. So Sam and Twitch leave the scene. The cop is like, we're not done here. And Sam's like, listen, Patricia Cornhall, you don't need us to stick around to write your work or fix it. We're out this bitch. And all they could do is just look at him go away. And they know as they're driving to see what's up with Dr. McCrory that they're messing with us. I don't know what else is new, but this is getting serious. We got a bunch of Casper, not so friendly freaking ghosts, messing with us. We got IA giving us a rim job. And now we got crooked Keystone cops lining up their turn to kick us in the nuts. And all we have is this word, Udaku. Fucking Udaku. You want to go home and change Twitch? And Twitch is like, nah. No time for that, we got to go to the station. So he goes to the station to see Dr. Casey McCory and Twitch comes in. Dude, is this such a nerdy thing to do to pound whiskey or pound alcohol in the, fl in the flask in the, in the science class? Anyways, so she turns around like, oh, hey, Twitch, nice to smell you. I'm guessing Twitch kind of stinks of sores. So he's like, I'm sorry. 
and she's like, I know the feeling. And Twitch is like, I will fix it. I got you. Oh, great. You do got me now. Well, life, life is full of decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I make them every day. Do this, do that. Go here, go there. Get an MD. Go for the big payday. Choose work that has value. Speak for those who can't speak for themselves. Because I'm good at your job. Put in the hours. Be the can do girl, the come to girl, and trust you. And Twitch is like, yeah, I'll fix this. Oh, get behind you and then poof, game over, play again, insert coin, and get fucked again. My hero. She makes Twitch really feel like poo about this. And you know he intends to fix this, but you know what? He got yeah, he got chewed out and spit out in that in that panel right there. But in this panel right here, Sandberg is just sitting outside smoking a cigarette and this car pulls up and asks him, are you Sam Burke? And Sam looks at him, checks his hands, he's empty. No, says Sam, I'm his sister Betty. <laughs> well, would you mind stepping into the car, good sir? You know I'm a cop, right? Well, yes, I do know you're a cop. You better get the fuck on out of here then, says Sam. And the window rolls down and it's this guy who is Sangio Como. I believe it's Jackie Sangio Como. It's one of the Sangio Comas and that has something to do with the Udako case. You know who I am? And Sam was like, I'm pretty sure I do know who you am. Well, do me a personal favor of speaking with me, please. So Sam gets into the car and this guy is like, this is the darkest hour. You know, they got my father and Sam's like, what? Yeah, he tells him last night they killed him in his bed. They dismembered him and then they decapitated him. They kept my father's head as a souvenir. They just kept it. And Sam's like, well, that's pretty much news to me. And he continues. Nobody knows if our people knew. If they did, our house would fall and my children and I would be dead before sun. And that's for sure. So Sam's like, well, do you know who's doing this? We don't know. Well, if you don't know who's doing it, what does the name Udaku mean to you? And he doesn't know. And Sam's like, well, have you at least heard it before? Yeah, it's the last word your cop friend Affleck said. And Sam's like, shit, you know that? But you didn't know what it means? If I did, I would tell you. And Sam's like, okay. And Sanji Kuma's like, yes, at this point, I will tell you anything that I thought would help each other end this. And Sam's like, okay, like what? Well, I could tell you who's pulling the strings here. And Sam's like, somebody's pulling my strings? Oh, yeah, and I can tell you right now. So in this panel right here, Twitch goes into the <laughs> internal affairs office and tells Barbara, listen, you manipulative person. You think you could railroad me and my friends? I've had up to here with your nonsense. And she's sarcastic. I know. I can smell that. So Twitch continues. Sam Burke and Dr. McCoy deserve your admiration and respect. Not this manipulation accusation you're doing. How dare you? With all the hellish nonsense that's going on around here, you would ruin the career of a dedicated medical examiner and you would threaten a man with the value of Sam Burke and Sam Burke hearing all this and that's Twitch redemption moment right there like oh damn it Twitch I know that's the stuff I love this son of a bitch and Twitch is sucked by this and Sam's like look man I'll kiss you but you stink like showtime after 11 p.m. or maybe after Cinemax at 2 a.m. <laughs> no I added that part in. it's a stupid joke but Twitch is like so what's going on here and Sam tells him, guess who's been baboozling us into doing their dirty work for them? Barbara's like, officer? And Sam knows he has the upper hand like, uh-huh, bitch woman. When Twitch is like, what's going on? And Sam lays it all on the table. I'm the first to admit I'm not the brightest bulb in the batch, and that's okay. I have many other redeeming qualities. Sometimes it takes me a second to put it all together, especially, especially when someone drops me head first into a huge pile of steaming shit. And what do you know? That's what we are in, in a big steaming pile of poo. And with all this freaking craziness, I didn't even take a moment to think to myself, what the fuck is this IA woman up to? He unplugs the cord. Think about it, Twitch. Why the hell wouldn't IA just suspend us if there's all these serious accusations about us? Why would they just let us back on the streets? You know why? Because they really ain't nothing too damning on that tape. If you think about it, yeah, what you said on that tape, Twitch, hurt my feelings. But you said it yourself. We did nothing wrong. So she isn't after me. She isn't after us, Twitch. What she's after, she's after the same damn people we're after. Them. She's after the big spooky, the big scary, you know, the big dick traces in them trench coats she wants to know how and why this all ties into the precinct but she isn't asking us to work together no she's strong arming us she's squeezing us and sam sees this light fixed up above he goes up and he removes the bug that was in there she's stepping on our nuts and trying to pit us against each other making us do the dance you know who does that i a no way and upon seeing the bug twitch is like yeah, the feds do that. Bingo bongo, watch this. Three, two.
two. And then before they get to one, or right when they get to one, the feds come in, stand down, officer. And Twitch is like, uh-uh, you stand down, bruh. And Barbara's like, boys, 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 put the pieces away. They're just fucking with us. Good Lord. What a curse it is to have a penis. Mm-mm. As a member of the penis community, no, it's not. So Barbara's like, okay, guys, guess what? We know it was Jackie Sangiokou who dropped the dime on us. So Sam is like, what? At least he was honest with me. And Twitch is like, wait, you talked to him? Yeah, I'll tell you all about it later. So Barbara tells her side of the story. What we're supposed to do, this is a deep cover operation. We don't even know who we're looking for, so we're just setting up shop in the building. So Sam gives her back the bug and tells her, well, fuck you very much for treating us like a couple of monkeys. We both almost got popped over this, and Affleck did. And Barbara's like, well, the two of you are the biggest yentas I ever met, so pardon me all over the place if I didn't feel like it confiding you. What's Udaku? We don't know, says Barbara. So Sam's like, well, guess what, sunshine? You want our help? You got to do things our way because without us, you guys are kind of dickless in this situation and you need us far more than we need any of this shit. We can just walk away. We did it before and Barbara knows this. Fine. What do you want? Because that was established clearly in the first issue. So Sam gives her the thumbs up. Well, firstly, and Twitch continued, you find Dr. McCory, apologize to her and reinstate her because you and I need her help. And secondly, using his index finger, Twitch continues, you take all surveillance off of all of us. It's not like you're backing us up when we need you and it's just a big target on our backs. We have enough problems as it is. And thirdly, he uses his middle finger. You can sit and spin. And Sam is like, and stand back and watch us kick ass and we'll let you know when we need your help. Peace. And all they can do is Barbara, IA, and the feds can look at him like, damn, we got clapped and we know it, but we need these brothers right here. And that is the end of this issue of Sam and Twitch, issue number five. What do you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. And also link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or some of our other comic books and rated comics exclusives to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. And I'm definitely and obviously looking forward to more Sam and Twitch. That is definitely one of the gangster issues right there in my opinion in terms of clearing her name and clapping back at the feds and IA. Lastly, this review is sponsored by Coffee because I do these things early in the morning while my kids are asleep. Link in description if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.